We are 14 green scholars. Well, 13. I'm a journalist that was kindly invited to come along on the trip and document this British Council study visit. The study visit has been organised to bring people like us, young people from around the world, to come together in Scotland, where COP is being held this year. Our goal is to learn and share through meetings, workshops and events and to explore the role of arts and culture, education and the English language and how they can all contribute to climate change solutions. All of us are passionate about averting the climate crisis and chose postgraduate degrees in environmental fields. We were all born into a climate crisis. Within our lifespan, the world has already changed drastically. When I was little, in northern Germany, we had snowy winters and time off school because the roads were too icy. That doesn't happen anymore. In less than two decades, winters turned into grey slush, puddles and snowflakes melting as soon as they touched the ground. Many of the people on this multicultural trip to Stirling have experienced similar things. So I'm from Vietnam and cafe quality in Vietnam has been declining due to climate change. The weather is not as stable as it used to be, so we have to move the agriculture, the place where we plant coffee. And I still want to enjoy a good cup of coffee. So where I'm from, which is India, one of the most important things that in terms of climate change is affecting my country is global warming. So I think last, last year when I was still in India, it almost got to 45 to 49 degrees so hot. So the amount of people that die from heat strokes also increases year to year. So it's really a very obvious sign that the world is kind of burning every year. In my home country, Turkey, we had experienced the most graphic outcomes of the global warming just last summer. At the very same days, we were both fighting with wildfires at the southern coastline. In the same time, we were dealing with the uh, flash floods on the northern end of the country. And it was just too graphic to process. It was very hard to uh, handle emotionally. Climate change um, in Nigeria, where I come from, um, is evident from extreme um, weather temperatures, rainfall, inconsistent, um, variable rainfall, then um, drought, flooding sometimes, which affects um, biodiversity, life, plants, even takes away shelter from people. I'm from basically the central part of Pakistan. And the thing is, uh, we have storms every summer and the intensity and frequency of these storms have been going up exponentially as the years progress. And I'm scared that it's going to have a really dramatic and harmful effect to the crops we grow because we are an agriculture economy. So I'm from Egypt and they are trying to cut the trees to just widen the roads and it's not a good thing. Uh, they are trying to have solutions for the traffic and everything but this will increase the carbon effect after that because they are trying to remove all the trees just to widen the street and they will have traffic issues later on degree into our education system so everyone can learn about climate change and the environment from a very young age not letting go or giving up but rather accepting the situation as it is and that it might not be really something you can just reverse altogether realizing that and then working towards taking responsibility and then working towards a better environment starting from myself personally and actually the young people back in my home country Climate change is a subject to them on a daily basis, like they are being exposed on media, on social media particularly, and I've been literally witnessing that they are chatting about it throughout the day amongst them. So this is actually the core hope that I have, because only like a couple of decades ago, including myself, we weren't even aware of it, but it was there. 
I'm currently working on climate education, educating people on how they can make the environment sustainable, trying to encourage energy saving bulbs, recycling old items, you know, cutting down your food consumption, reducing waste. I'm so passionate about climate education. Previously, the incentive was basically economics, and now it's climate change. I am hopeful because the incentive is there, but we need to work hard and make people aware of that incentive so they themselves change. And that change is what I'm hoping to contribute towards when I go back. I hope that I can change the policies that politicians take to make these decisions because they are maybe thinking more about the economy rather than the environment. I hope they think more about the environment and the health issues that people will have later on. So I hope that I can change the policies and the way people think towards these issues in my country. The climate crisis is a global challenge, so we're looking for global solutions. We are Gen Zero.